Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, I'm gonna show you today how to replace the display on the 2018 DS. What you're gonna wanna do is start off by taking off the two bolts that hold down the seat. Here and there. And what I'm using here is a T45. And just go ahead and take these off. To get these out, should be able to loosen them up with your hand. So now we got these out, these out, which will make your tank loose, but you still got the front ones that are holding on to the front panels. Where these screws are at. All right, now that you have all those screws out, uh, your tank should be pretty much loose. I have a couple things here uh, that I'm going to have to disconnect. Um, but all in all, your tank should basically come off at this point. And the tank is off. So now the tank is removed. And before we start working on removing all the zip ties, I'm going to go ahead and start removing the headlight assembly. But first, a quick sip of coffee. All right, so... I got all the bolts for the headlight off. Unplug your cables and get your headlight out of the way. At this point, you have everything out of your way to do the wiring. All right, so I undid a few zip ties here. Just one in my instance, um, but that's probably because of all the other zip ties I've already cut out in the past. As you can see, for me, this cable's pretty loose. And you'll see here that this here, that's the connection for the display. So you would wanna undo this safety clip or whatever you wanna call it. And then you should be able to push down and pull. I'm gonna need two hands here, so bear with me. So to come back and show you guys, what I ended up doing was this here has a latch where this slips into. You gotta just undo this from the back side. Use a, a small head, flat head screwdriver and undo this. Basically, these two just separate from right here. And this would be the cable you are trying to get out. And now snake it all the way back to the front and out of the bike. So the back of the new display has three bolts. I haven't seen exactly what's on the OEM one right now, but uh, yeah, three bolts. And I'm assuming you use the same uh, nuts to put it back in. So let me work on getting the display up. All right, so cable's coming out. I fully fished it out, same cable. Now, if you see up there, there's a couple of bolts. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and undo those bolts. All right, so nuts are off, <laughs> nuts are off. And I think now the display is completely loose. So I'll go ahead and work it. And as you can tell, two bolts on the back of the original. And here comes the since I know I'm not gonna be taking this off once again, uh, go ahead and give it a, a quick wipe with some cleaner, whatever you got. Now that you have the display area wiped down, uh, go ahead and grab your display. You're gonna have that extra bolt that comes down from the bottom. Uh, don't worry about it too much. 
Uh, just make sure you put your cable in and make sure it routes correctly. All right, so I had to undo this display cable because the new display has a shorter cable. So I had to route that through there and basically whip this back to its normal way. I'm keeping the connector here. I did put some Tesla tape, um, but yeah, it's uh, definitely a lot shorter than I anticipated, but it still works. Uh, just make sure you zip tie down all your cables so they're nice and firm. And yeah, you should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, put it all back together, go in reverse and put all your stuff back. Uh, the way you took it off. And hopefully it works. We'll test it out. There we go. So yeah, hope you guys uh, find use of this video. And don't forget to subscribe. When you speak, angel, sing from above. End result, I think it looks pretty cool.